Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Knowledge Unlimited and in this video I am going to explain about mod 6 synchronous up counter design. So with this we can conclude the counter design especially synchronous counter design if you get clear idea. One more thing I want to mention you is it can be any counter for example a grey counter or a BCD counter or it, it can be any counter the important thing is how you write the table that is writing of present state and writing of next state and the type of flip flops you are using converting the present state and next state relations into inputs of flip flops is the only thing that matters in the counter design so so far we have done two examples with this it will be three examples which are more than enough to excel in synchronous counter design so the thing is one should know what exactly happening in the background so let me take a clock pulse because it is a synchronous counter all flip flops will get the clock pulse at the same time and whatever the action that are that is happening will be either at positive edge or at negative edge depending on the type of edge triggering flip flop that you are taking let me consider that the happening of anything is at positive edge for my flip flops so far considered so if it is an up counter let me take a 2 bit up counter that I used so far it is going again to 0 0 what happening is this is my present state and this is my next state if my present state is 0 0 after the occurrence of clock edge it is changing to the next state that is 0 1 which means at this instant the inputs that I should give for my flip flops d1 d0 is 0 1 this is this is the complete intention of the table if you look in the previous video I wrote like this if my present state is 0 0 and if my next state is 0 1 then my here I have taken d1 d0 these inputs also 0 1 and if it is in 0 1 state then my next state is 1 0 and here also 1 0 so the intention is now this will become as my present state for the next instant and my next state will be after 0 1 I should get 1 0 so 1 0 will become my next state so to trigger or to change the state from 0 1 to 1 0 the inputs that I need to give will be 1 0 so this is the meaning so you can feel that now this will become present state the next state will be 1 1 so inputs that I should give for d1 and d0 will be 1 1 and this will become a present state and my next state will become 0 0 so in this way this process continues so this is the background what happening exactly in the counter is can be shown or can be represented using this simple clock pulse you can see this is very clear and you should be very clear with this to solve the problems why because nowadays the standard of prog problems are increasing day by day and you can expect these type of questions and these type of analysis is required to solve those problems so without wasting time let's get started by designing a mod 6 up counter so i'm going to design this using t flip flops so if you want you can design using jk or d or anything but let me use t flip flops i introduced already with d flip flop two videos and now with t flip flop it's your chance and your turn to solve with jk and sr if you are willing now the thing is one should know what exactly is modulus of a counter what is meant by modulus of a counter and what does that number 6 or 7 or 8 or this number indicates this is nothing but number of see I am again writing it number of different states so this is very important different states number of different states that a counter can count it can count you can say this is called as modulus of an counter which means if you are thinking to design mod 6 counter then the total number of different states that your counter should count is 6 states only state 1 state 2 state 3 state 4 state 5 state 6 again after this it should go to some of the states that already counted so which means it can be anything or the sequence it doesn't matter for example he might ask you to design the counter of this sequence and again it should go to 1 it doesn't really matter what the sequence is the process is same for all you should write the present state and 
for each instant of the state next state what it is go going and then what are the corresponding inputs for the flip flops that you should give for this operation to happen so this is the basic idea in the counter design and if once you are clear with this then you can solve any type of questions trust me now the thing is how to design a mod 6 counter so let me go for that now the present state a mod 6 means we want six different states so to get six different states at most we can use three flip-flops not less than three because for two flip-flops maximum you can if it is two flip-flops maximum you can go up to four states so let me write three that is q2 q1 q0 is my present state then my next state will be q2 plus q1 plus and q0 plus so now let me write the inputs here so let me start let it let me take it as starting from 0 0 0 now the next state will be 1 so it is very simple after 0 1 2 3 4 5 let me count number of states 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 states is completed then it should again come from come to 0 now 0 to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 again 5 2 0 0 0 so this is a thing but you can see here still there are some states that can obtain that is 6 1 1 0 and 7 now the thing is mod 6 counter if the user is asking mod 6 counter means these are the states that are valid and these are the states that are that will only occur then you can take it as don't cares see i will explain about whether to use these don't cares or not in detail in the next few minutes first you concentrate on the counter design now let me take t flip flops t2 t1 t0 to write this it is very simple you can see here we already studied about t flip flop if input is 0 then output is memory if input is 1 then out output toggles now you can see here q2 0 0 it is staying in the same state so it is 0 here you can see it is staying in the same state so it is 0 here you can see it is saying in, staying in the same state so it is 0 here you can see it is toggled so my t input should be 1 for 0 to switch into 1 again you can fill the table here 1 0 toggle so it is 1 and here don't cares so last two don't cares now if you look about the transition let me take some some if it is 1 it is 0 so here this part will be 1 so in the same way you can full uh, you can fill all this so here no transition but here it is a transition so 0 0 1 here 0 1 1 here you can see 0 0 1 and next it is 1 1 1 and next it is 0 0 1 and next it is 1 0 1 so this is how you can fill now you should do you should draw the kmap equations for t2 t1 t0 so let me draw kmap equations for t2 so the inputs are q2 q1 q0 so let me draw this so the inputs are q2 q1 q0 so it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 so here you can see 0 0 0 1 0 1 don't care so this is for my t1 now utilize the don't cares that will make the expression to be minimized so i will use these two pairs so my expression for t2 will be t2 equal to q2 this is q2 and in these two q0 is not changing so q2 q0 plus here you can see here q1 q0 so this is my expression for t2 similarly you can solve for t1 and t0 let me do them for t1 if you write a similar k map again q2 q1 q0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 it is 0 1 0 1 0 0 and don't care now you can see no need to map other because these two are enough so expression for t2 will be sorry t1 will be q2 bar q0 so this is the expression for t1 
Similarly, as uh, time it is taking more time, let me write directly the answer for T naught. It is simply you can see here all are ones, and these don't case also if you include, then it will become one function one. So T naught it will be one. No need to draw the K map also. Now all all you have to do is you have to design a counter. So let me take t three flip flops sufficiently far enough so that my combinational circuit I no need to clumsy t2 let me take t naught here because t2 is getting more combinational part t1 t2 so order doesn't matter right clock as it is synchronous i'm giving same clock and these are the inputs so my output is q naught q1 q2 q2 bar q1 bar and q naught bar so my t2 connection let me use white color so my t2 is q2 and with q naught so q2 and q naught odd with q1 and q naught sorry i think i made mistake let me correct it so let me start again q2 and q naught so here is my q naught ended with q2 so these two are connected to an and gate and q1 with q naught again and these two are or and given to t2 so this is my required combinational part one you can take comb one combinational part one and t naught directly you can give t naught one for t naught and t1 you can see q2 bar q naught so for t1 here it is q naught and again q2 bar means you have to take one more input from here and here it is and get so this is the counter what you can call it as mod 6 mod 6 up counter using t flip flops so i explained how it is happening and how from clock pulse to clock pulse the transition is happening so the thing is now let me sp speak two minutes about don't cares what exactly happening see if in case the inputs are occurring such that it is six which is not a used case or a valid case then it sh it can it, as we are taking don't cares it can give, go to any of the state then it can result in two sub cases that is again back to normal state or lock in state why because if it is entering into some unused state again suppose it is entered into 1 1 again it is entered into 1 1 0 1 1 1 so these are unused case but it is entering continuously so that becoming a loop so these type of states are called as lock in case or lockout case this is called as lockout case so if your circuit once went into lockout case then you can't get back in some cases again it can get back into one of the used state for example if it is went to 111 initially then it might went in it might come into 001 again it can repeat as a counter so these are the two possible cases so if you want to give a stringent operation which means it should act as a perfect means instead of don't care so use 000 but the thing is the combinational the combinational circuit will increase which further increases delay so depending on the applications that you want you can use whether zeros or you can use don't cares but more preferable thing is using of don't cares why because if the combination circuit delay increases it is very complex for us but uh, in rare cases it will go into lockout case so you can prefer and you can uh, generally design your counters using don't care cases so to avoid all these uh, we can also use asynchronous counters but the thing is synchronous counters or any operations that are done using synchronous are more faster why because at each edge of a clock all the flip-flops will change their state simultaneously so if you want to arrange you can arrange at the same instant whereas in asynchronous it will take more time so in the latter few videos you are going to learn them in detail so for time being you just be confident and be perfect with the videos that you have seen so far so in the next video maybe i'm going to start the counter analysis so that's all for this video and see you in the next one